In this lecture, we are going to write our own function to perform string concatenation. Now, concatenation is nothing but joining two different strings together. Okay. Now, in this example, I've taken this string str, which is having this string hello stored in it. I have one more string, which is having hi stored in it, that is str1. Okay. So, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to concatenate str to str1. Okay, that means I'm going to copy str to the str1 and I'm going to place this str, the content hello, at the end of hi, at the end of a string str1. So the first character that I'm going to copy is h and this h should be copied to the index 2 of string 1, str1. Okay, so how do I find out this 2? This 2 is nothing but the length of this string str1. So let me call it as k. k let k be the length of this string str1. This is the string wherein I am going to copy the string hello. So I'll just find the length by writing str len str1. So this will find out the length which is 2. So k is now 2. Okay, and let me have the index i catching hold of all the elements of the source string str okay so i'll have to run a loop here until i find the null character okay so i'll just write while first of all i'll have to make i as zero and then i'll write while okay while in the string str str at index i str at index i is not equals to null okay if the element is not null i'll have to repeat something Okay, so this is not null, right? H is not null, H is not null. So I'll have to copy this H, which is at index zero of str to uh, the index K of str one. Okay, so I'll just write str i, this will catch hold of uh, H. This is copied to the string str one at index K. That means this H will be copied to index 2 of str1. So at index 2 of str1, there is already a null character that will be now be overwritten by the character H. So H comes here. Once this is done, I've just copied one character. So I have to repeat copying it for all the characters. So now I'll increment the value of i. Now i becomes 1 because the next character that I need to copy is e. And again, I'll have to increment k also because e would be copied in the index 3 right so you would be copied in the index 3 so i'll write k plus plus and i'll have to do i plus plus so i and k are incremented so e is copied here similarly now i is incremented i becomes 2 k is incremented k becomes 4 so this l is copied here l comes here now again k is incremented k becomes 5 uh, i is incremented i becomes 3 so this is copied now l comes here so L is copied. Now K is incremented, K becomes 6. I is also incremented, I becomes 4. At index 4, there is O. O is copied to index 6 of str1. So this is copied, right? O comes here, right? Again, I is incremented, I becomes 5. And then K is incremented, K becomes 7. Now whenever I becomes 5, now you check the condition, right? This is stri, str5 is null. So null is not equal to null is false, right? This is null. So I've encountered the null. So this loop becomes false. It will come outside of the loop, right? So it is false. It will come outside of the loop. Now, whenever I'm at the outside of the loop, that means I've copied all the characters from the string str to the end of a string str1. That means I'm done with the copying. So what I'm left with is I have to just make sure that at index k, I'll have to append or I have to put the null character. So k is 7. So I'll just write in str1, this is str1, at index k, I'll have to put the null character right so this is the null character so if you see here this is string hello this is string hello is copied here okay hello by using the string concatenation so this is the entire logic for performing the string concatenation at the end i'll have to append this null character to the end of the string str1 okay this is how you do the string concatenation now we'll try to implement the same using a program so in this code, we have two strings. str is the string hello and str1 is having the string hi. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to join the string str, join the string str to the string str1. Okay, str should be put at the end of str1. So to perform the string concatenation, let me have to have a function defined here. Return type is void because it is just going to concatenate. It is not going to return me something back. Okay, now let me provide the name to this function. Let the function be called as string concatenation. Okay, let me give the full name. Okay, so I have to concatenate strings here. So it will have two parameters. The first parameter is the destination string. So let me call it as D is my destination. This is where 
where I'm going to place the uh, source string and the second argument is the source string let the source string be called as s okay so I'm trying to join s to d okay so first of all what I do is I'll find the length of the string d destination string right so find the length of destination string d let the length be k so I'll just write k is equals to str len of the destination string d okay so this is done and i have to initialize the index i as zero because this is the index for taking care of all the elements of the source string okay takes care of each element of source string s okay uh, so this is this is the comment given here okay now i'll have to run a loop while in my source string s at index i if the element is not null if it is not equals to null we have already seen the logic i'll have to repeat something okay so i'll have to copy uh, the element from source s to destination d okay so destination is indexed by the index k and source is indexed by the index i okay so what i do is very simple so i'll have to copy the destination string at index k so what do i copy is the source string from which index from index i okay once the copying is done i'll have to increment the value of i because i have to go to the next index of the source string and i have to also increment the value of k because i have to move forward in the destination string so i do k plus plus here okay so this is incrementing i and k so this is done so once this is done at the end i'll have to make the destination string i'll have to make sure that at index k there is a null character because that is the end of the string okay so this is placing the null character and i am done okay this is a string concatenation so first the destination and second parameter is the source okay here i'll have to call it so i'll write string concatenation first i'll have to give the destination string so my destination string is str1 okay and my source string is str okay now if i try to print both my strings let's see what happens printf so source string source string is my str source string is percentage s okay so let me print as str okay and my destination string i'll just write printf uh, destination string str1 okay is percentage s so this is i'll just write str1 okay so let me try to print both source and destination string so i'll have to give the proper name for printf so it is printf okay so let's compile this code and see if we have any errors here or if it compiles successfully the gcc string concat.c okay concatenation there is some warning stdio.h is not provided in the header file i'll have to provide has include stdio.h because i'm using printf i'll also have to provide has include string dot s because i'm using uh, the function str len also right so i'll have to compile this one more time compilation is done i is undeclared right so here it's saying that i is not declared so i'll have to declare i also comma i k comma i so declaration of i is done now compile no error now okay so let's, let's run this code the source string is hello and destination string is hello hi so hi was there in str so hello is appended in hi so it becomes hi hello and that is being displayed here okay so this is being done by the function string concatenation okay so that's all in this lecture in this lecture we have learned how to devise our own logic to implement the string concatenation function and then we have also implemented and tested and seen that string concatenation works fine okay that's all in this lecture stay tuned